guys, it's Full Cards here. Live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go. In front of me today, 2020-21 Upper Deck SP Signature Edition K6 Box 4. What's in store? This is our box for April. What rhymes with April? Maple? Uh, Brett Hull? I don't know. Configuration, five cards per pack, 18 packs per box, 90 cards total, two times eight inners. So I'm opening up my last inner, I guess. Base set one through three, base set sharpens 301 through 350, base all time future watch 351 through 451. And there are gold parallels, like in the background, we should expect our two autos. So yeah, man, this should be fun once again. Uh, I can't find my exacto, so that's a bit of a problem. And there we are. So looking for our bounty profiles, which are dead and dusted, our 10 uh, base inserts, and yeah, yeah, the two autos, the two autos. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. We'll go from left to right. It is one of these upside down packed packs. Their packing and their collation is always suspect. But let's have at it. We're still looking for our future watch autos as well, right? So we have a Lauren Henning to start us off. I mean, I've opened so much of this stuff. We do have a dominant digits of Rod Langway, one time have, Carboneau and Garpenlov. Pack two, I love how easily these open, I have to say. So we do have uh, something here. I think it's a base, uh, beautiful looking base upper deck canvas. And it is indeed the Ken Danico, uh, who I believe is on MSG, unless I'm mistaken. Terry O'Reilly. So what types of signatures can we hit? I mean, we've done this so many times. There are the 97 SIGs, the Century Legend SIGs, the Epidemic Canvas Autos, the Dominic Digit Autos. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Behind the Board Autos, what am I missing? Life After Hockey, et cetera, et cetera. The Maple Leaf Updates, Centennial Updates, Ray Croft, speaking of which, Lindros. And there is a beauty of profiles of Mario the Magnifique and Lanny. At the time of recording this, I know that Lanny had had a cardiac event of some sort. You guys tell me, continuing on, we do have a Pedersen and we have a Life After Hockey here, and it would be a Beauty Ryan Whitney, as well as McClellan, Ashton, and Jackman. All right, and this looks to be a base gold um, parallel. Miranov, and it is the David Shaw, so that's a facsimile, as we call it in the industry. Um, there's Decagon autos, I mean, I'm missing a couple, right? Uh, what else was, uh, chronology, there's actually chronology updates as well, which is kind of bizarre that they have them in there. There's Esposito and the Billy Smith UD Canvas, beautiful card, Don Edwards and Essa Tikkanen. And in a Stevie Y dominant digits, Graham, Ryan Precht, and Dougie Wilson. Uh, this, I'm not sure if this is, if only that were autoed. I love this one. It is totally one of the most beautiful cards in the hobby, the auto version of it. But that is hot. That is hot. Dave Taylor, Stan Makita, and Randy Wood. I was gonna say Ron Wood for some reason. I mean, that would have been a slip of the tongue. Continuing on, we have uh, Gino O. We have Eddie Belfour, as well as another dominant digits here. Yarmir Jagger profiles, uh, Bounty Program, Dave Brown, as well as the Rick Five. Group B for the Decagon's autos would be Gordy Howe, Gresky Mario, and all those guys. And they're one, I think, in 1,187, if you can imagine that. Here's a Kelly Rudy Evolve. Howie Morenz, he should be a short print. I know he isn't, but he should totally be a short print. His auto is one of the rarest things in the entire hobby. This isn't something. Is everything gonna be in the last column? We'll see in a second. All right, Paul Eisbart, um, John Shabbat, Carlisle, and Salvador. Come on, come on, let's see something. Let's see something at this juncture. What can we hit? Uh, is this... Oh, you know what? I think this is an auto. I think this is an auto. Did you guys see who it was? Did you guys see? I think it's an auto. I thought I saw foil. So Patrick, so who is this one? This is awesome. This is definitely an auto of some form or fashion. And it's a half. Is it Chelios? Is it Chelios? That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So we hit the Chris Chelios. Number to 35. 
I saw the foil, but I didn't see the top of the card, so you guys might have been a few seconds ahead of me on this one. So we hit a Chris Chelios Evolve Auto in all three of his, you know, huge uh, franchise uh, 06 team. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. That is very, very cool. Um, we traded him for Denis Savard. I mean, we won a cup with Denis Savard, but who was injured at the time when we hoisted it. But yeah, uh, he, we didn't know he'd go on to play for another 4,000 years. Uh, there's Dave Taylor is all over this year's products. And there's the Denis Savard. So there you see, we traded him for that guy. Um, we should have drafted Denis Savard, I think, in 1980. And instead we picked Wickenheiser, right? So I think it was in 1980. So yeah, that was an oversight. Yeah, because 1980, 1980, that draft when Doug Wickenheiser, when Babbage, Savard, Murphy, uh, and I think Coffee went sixth in that draft. So we picked Wickenheiser, who's passed, sadly. Of course, his uh, cousin. Is it his cousin? Yeah, I think it's his cousin who's the hockey player. And here we have the flower. And here we have the flower, if only autos existed. In fact, I saw a hard signed auto of this online, which must have been a forgery because at that point he had passed before the product came out. So if you see hard signed uh, flower autos from this product in this year, I can tell you for a fact uh, it's not right. Is this an auto? I don't think so because it's not gold, right? We were talking about the Decagons a second ago, right? So this would happen to be Henrik Sedin. I think I do have the auto version of this actually already, as you guys can imagine. Flossing a couple of my bad boys in the background as well, including the Patrick, which might be a case hit, I don't know. And the Ronnie Hex dolls. So there's Keith Kachuk, Father Kachuk. Very cool, and I shouldn't just gloss over Wayne, should I? So we're owed we're another auto. Hopefully it isn't a base auto. I almost feel like it shouldn't be a base auto at this point. I think it might be some other insert auto, but we'll see in a second. Although we're still waiting for a future watch as well. And there's the Jill Melage, uh, who has some pretty cool helmets. So this is the last pack, guys. So what do we have? Oh man, we have just a base auto again, which is a little bit disappointing. Hopefully this case will deliver later on. We're only halfway through the case, so, or the inner, if you will. So there's Jocelyn Lemieux. There is Paul Coffey. And let's see if we get anyone uh, decent in here. Decent would be good. It just seems to be a base foil, right? And we do have an Alex Tongay. I think it's an Alex Tongay. I qualify that as a solid one, actually. For the base ones, it's certainly solid as opposed to, I mean, he's a known quantity for sure. He also did play on the Habs, right? So that's basically it, guys. Certainly a legend, HOF auto by every and any standard. In fact, he played on two of the teams in the background. If you look at those cards in the background on the left. Uh, yeah, happy with that box, but still looking for a bit more. We still have four boxes to go. So maybe we're taking it mellow and slow. We'll see what the rest of the case, the second half of the inner delivers. I happen to be full of cards. Do me the honor of sub-liking hashtag and full of cards live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Someone's playing baseball. Don't care what the world says.